For practice it, self-check 1.26 confusing. We are asked, what is the output of the following Java program? We look and we have a class right here, public class confusing. Inside of it, we have three methods. We have method one, two, and method three. We also have a main method right here. And the main method is what we're going to be looking at. So first, in our main method, we're calling method one. So we're looking at method one. Inside of method one, we have the print statement, I am method one. There's nothing else, so we're going back into our main method, and we have method three. Method three, the first line in method three, calls method two. So we're looking at method two, and the first line of method two calls method one, so we're gonna put I am method one. And then the next line of method two says I am method two. And that's it for that. So we're going to look back into our method three, and our next line is to print out I am method three. And then after this line right here, we are going to call method one. So we're just printing out I am method one, since that's the only thing in our method one call. That's it for method three. So we're going to look back into our code and we're calling method two. So for our method two, we're going to look in here. We notice that the first line calls method one, so we're just going to print out I am method one, and then the next line is just I am method two. Next, we are calling method three again, so we can just copy and paste our code, or we can just run through it again, we can run through it again real fast. So for method three, we are going to call method two. So now we are looking at method two. The first line of method two calls method one, so we have to print out I am method one, and then we are going to print out I am method two. We're gonna go back into our method three, and then we print out I am method three, and then we make a call to the first method, and we print out I am method one. If we submit, we will pass all of the tests, and that is how we call methods and print out what is inside of them.